Let's look at another sentence, URL.com. Starting again from the start state, we take the uppercase letter U transition to state 3, then an uppercase R transition to state 3, another uppercase L transition to state 3, a full stop transition to state 4, a lowercase c transition back to state 3, another lowercase o transition to state 3, and lastly, the lowercase m transition to state 3. This time we are not at an accepting state, so even though we passed through the accepting state, the automaton does not accept url.com as a valid sentence. However, with the addition of one more full stop, we can make this into a sentence accepted by the automaton. In a more general sense, there are three extra words we often use in finite state automata. The first is called the alphabet of our automaton. This is just a list of all possible inputs that result in a transition. In our example, our alphabet is U, S and L. The sentences we use to test this automaton are known as strings, which are sequences of inputs from our alphabet. Mu and URL.com are examples of this. Lastly, we have a language. This is all the possible strings that are accepted by our automaton. Mu is one of the many strings in this language, but although URL.com is a string, it is not in our language because it was not accepted by our automata.